The word matik, is derived from the Javanese term, ambatic, which means wide, and dots. The artistry of batik, is an ancient wax resist, dyeing tradition using fabrics. This craft, originated in Java, Indonesia. Garments made using the technique of batik, is an integral part of Indonesian lifestyle, and culture. Today, it's commonly used as part of rituals, celebrations, traditions, ceremonies, and even daily use. Initially batik making was restricted to a technique called, written, batik. However this time-consuming system was soon preceded by the technique of, stamping. Stamping allows faster production, and uniformity of patterns. The costs of batik created with the stamping technique, is cheaper. The third type of batik creation is, painted batik. It is not clear when the practice, and art of creating batiks, spread to Sri Lanka. It's presumed that the tradition, spread to the island during the period of Dutch occupation. However, the tradition of batik making, really gathered momentum, during the last century. In Sri Lanka, the batik industry is a collection of small-scale, cottage industries, who have passed down the techniques through several generations. The batiks are primarily created to service the tourist market, and popular tourist destinations, would be used as locations for the display, and sale. Batiks are created to be used as wall hangings, tablecloths, beachwear, dresses and bedding. Sri Lankan batiks, have their own unique styles, and motifs, which were honed and evolved over the last few centuries. Designs range, from traditional, to contemporary patterns. Creation of batik fabrics is a time-consuming and labor-intensive process. Being a totally handcrafted, fabric pattern, the price of these items, are fully justified. The process begins with the selection of fabric, which is normally cotton, and in some cases silk. The initial step of drawing, or outlining the intended design, is done with pencil onto paper, and then traced onto the cloth. The designs used, could be a centuries-old motif, or reflect the contemporary aesthetics of the artisan. The designs are sealed on, or off, with a coating of wax, paraffin, and resin, to create dye-resistant areas in the cloth. The wax is carefully applied, using a small tool called a chanting, which is a metal spout with a handle. This allows the even spread of the wax, along with application of designs, such as lines, or dots. Years of practice, allows for the application of intricate patterns, in a skillful manner. For larger areas, sometimes a brush is used. In some cases the wax seeps through to the reverse, if that is not the case, both sides of the cloth need to be waxed. The cloth is then dipped in a dyeing solution, or bath. The cloth gets dyed in a specific pattern, which depends on the areas, which have been excluded from the wax application. Originally, Natural dyes were used in textile producing communities, but this has now given way, to the usage of synthetic dyes. The cloth is first dried, and then the wax washed off. This is a sustainable process as the wax can be reused. The artist who is intimate with the design to be produced, then covers another area in wax, which would be excluded, in the second dyeing process. Depending on the final design, and colors used, the process would be repeated many times, and sometimes dozens of times. 
A piece of batik fabric can take a few days, or in some cases weeks, to manufacture. This depends on the intricacy of the design, and number of colors used. The final creation by the artisan, is hung out to dry for one last time, before being sold, or made into a garment. Today, contemporary fashion designers, are reviving the popularity of this ancient craft, by creating modern designs, and fashion, combined with the classic look, of hand-created batik textures. The tradition of creating and dyeing of batiks, is an important part of the culture, and traditions of Sri Lanka. Moreover, the styles and designs in the island, cannot be found in any other part of the world. Some batik industries will allow visitors to see the process firsthand, while shops focus on giving a tourist a range of creations, which are a perfect gift for friends and family. <laughs>